huge tension at Mercedes after leaked conversation. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video. And if you want more Mercedes news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is that Lewis Hamilton is said to be already mentally at Ferrari and does not care about Mercedes anymore. Is the grass greener on the other side? Lewis Hamilton seems to be thinking in that direction already. The Saudi Arabian Grand Prix was a nightmare for Mercedes in terms of their performance in the high-speed corners of the Jeddah Corniche circuit. After keeping Oscar Piastri held up behind him for a better part of the race, Hamilton was not able to make any impression whatsoever on the McLaren of Lando Norris. On the other hand, George Russell can extract more from the car. And according to Red Bull brand ambassador David Coulthard, it's a result of Lewis Hamilton already focusing on his next season with Ferrari. In a debrief to the Saudi Arabian GP, Mercedes trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin said that the team is facing issues with the setup of their cars. He mentioned that both cars started the weekend with similar setups but underwent adjustments based on driver feedback throughout the weekend. Despite these adjustments, both drivers complained about the cars bouncing, indicating a lack of stability which slowed down the W15 in the fast-flowing sections of the track. Shovlin elaborated on the efforts made to address these issues, mentioning adjustments to ride heights and stiffness to improve performance. However, he noted that the balance of the cars during the race weekend wasn't as ideal as in the practice sessions. Despite running with different setups, both cars faced similar problems, suggesting underlying issues that require deeper investigation. David Coulthard recently shared his insights on Hamilton's performance, noting that he hasn't quite adapted to the new W15 car yet. According to a recent report from Formula Passion, the Brit said, you can see how George Russell is gradually improving lap times, while it's evident that Lewis is struggling. Lewis Hamilton himself has expressed disappointment with the performance of the new car, acknowledging that it's been difficult to see Mercedes trailing behind both Red Bull and Ferrari. Coulthard offered further analysis, suggesting that he will likely perform better once Hamilton finds the right setup for the W15. However, he also speculated that Hamilton may already be mentally considering a move to Ferrari. At the moment, it seems that he is mentally already thinking about his next transfer to Ferrari, said DC. Andrew Shovlin didn't only highlight the problem, he also spoke about what the team is doing to fix it. He explained that they're not just relying on recent race data, but also delving into insights from past tests and races. As the team prepares for the Australian Grand Prix, a track with similar fast-flowing corners to Jetta, they're focusing on improving grip and understanding the car's limitations. Interestingly, despite Lewis Hamilton and George Russell exploring different setup directions, they encountered similar issues, indicating a more fundamental problem that needs to be addressed. There's a lot of work going on within the aerodynamics department, vehicle dynamics department. We're trying to design some experiments there that will hopefully give us a direction that's good for performance. Shovlin was quoted by Sports Illustrated. When Lewis Hamilton confirmed earlier in February that he would be leaving Mercedes after a long-standing partnership to join Ferrari, it came as something of a bombshell for many. The timing of this action led many to speculate that Charles Leclerc might have taken this news as a surprise. However, during that period, the Monegasque clarified things by asserting that the team informed him of these discussions. Now, according to recent sources, the 26-year-old has revealed fresh details. Leclerc stated that even though he was aware of Hamilton's talks, he was never certain the Briton would actually finalize the contract. According to Formula Passion, the Monegasque said, I honestly never thought that Hamilton would arrive. Obviously, I knew what was happening before you, but when I was told that he was signing, I was speechless. It was a real surprise for me. Hamilton has been associated with Mercedes since he was 13 years old. However, with many twists and turns in his career, he became the Silver Arrows lead driver in 2013 and has maintained a strong relationship with them ever since. Nevertheless, given the team's struggles over the previous two seasons, Hamilton may have decided to leave the squad. The second story is Mercedes planning Melbourne experiments with W15 F1 car. The car has been plagued by bouncing, especially with low fuel in qualifying, while its weakness in high-speed corners relative to rivals was very apparent in Saudi Arabia. Shovlin suggests that the team will try different approaches at the upcoming Australian GP as it continues to hone the car. 
There's definitely data that we're picking through from Jeddah, he said. We're also looking at data from the Bahrain race, Bahrain test, and we will come up with a plan for how we approach free practice in Melbourne. But it's not just based on what we did in Jeddah. There's a lot of work going on within the aerodynamics department, vehicle dynamics department. We're trying to design some experiments there that will hopefully give us a direction that's good for performance. Shovlin confirms that high-speed corner performance is one of the key issues that the team is looking at with an eye on Australia. He suggests that the weakness that proved costly in Bahrain was due to a combination of factors. It's a few things, he said. One of them was the balance wasn't great. So those very fast corners, the walls aren't particularly far away, so the ones where the driver wants a lot of confidence and quite often we were snapping to oversteer if they really lent on the tires. And you can easily imagine how unsettling that is for the drivers. Now that was a factor in qualifying in the race. In qualifying, we were also suffering a bit with the bouncing. That was less of a problem in the race. There's more fuel on the car. You're going a bit slower. And that seemed to calm down and wasn't such an issue. And then the big one is we don't really have enough grip there. So that's one of the things that we are working hard on this week because Melbourne has similar nature of corners. So we're doing a lot of work to try and understand why did we not seem to have the grip of some of our close competitors. Shovlin notes that Lewis Hamilton and George Russell took different setup directions over the Jetta weekend. Some of that was they'd complained about bouncing, he explained. So we were looking at ways of trying to improve that. You can play with ride heights, you can play with stiffness, and that all seems effective. And also they were just trying to tune the balance through the speed range. So what's the car like in the low speed? What's it like in the high speed? Although the cars later converged, Shovlin says that useful lessons were learned. When you change things, you can see the differences. So one car making changes, you can see how it performs run to run. We can also look at the global performance of the two cars, but fundamentally the limitations that we had in qualifying and the race, they were broadly the same for both. So it's telling you it's not a small difference, it's not a tiny bit of camber or a spring or bar here and there, it's something more fundamental that we need to dig into and understand. During the climactic final lap of the F1 Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, George Russell, driving for Mercedes, experienced a moment of concern, believing he might have a puncture in his front right tire. Despite finishing sixth, ahead of his teammate Lewis Hamilton, Russell's fear was communicated to his team, prompting a quick investigation. Mercedes trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin relayed Russell's concern. He came on the radio, as you'll have heard and said, front right puncture. The team, however, found no evidence of tire issues through their data analysis. Mercedes' sophisticated monitoring systems allowed them to reassure Russell almost immediately. We can see the pressure on all four tires live, so we would spot a puncture normally before even the driver sees it, Shovlin explained, underscoring the team's advanced diagnostic capabilities. The third story is Lewis Hamilton's tech know-how questioned amid early Mercedes W15 difficulties. We may have reached the first non-race weekend of F1 2024, but fear not. There are plenty of key headlines to bring you up to speed with, and arguably, the main talking point focuses on Mercedes, with Lewis Hamilton's understanding of what the W15 needs in order to be improved called into question after a difficult start to the season. Let us take a closer look at this and much more. Lewis Hamilton input questioned with Mercedes, fooling themselves. Mercedes came up with a new direction of travel for their W15 concept, hoping that this would allow them to mount a title challenge for the first time since 2021. The early stages of F1 2024 have shown, though, that a lot of work needs to be done if they are to rise to that challenge, Red Bull having stormed out of the blocks as still F1's dominant force, with Ferrari providing the closest competition. It has led ex-F1 technical director Gary Anderson to suggest Mercedes are still fooling themselves with their approach to a race weekend, while he has questioned Hamilton's thinking on what will make for a fast F1 ground effect car. George Russell talks funny driver scramble to replace Lewis Hamilton F1 2024, marks Hamilton's final season with Mercedes, the team he has raced for since 2013 and with whom he has won six of his seven world championship titles. Come 2025, he will be a Ferrari driver. 
that means there is a major void to fill at Mercedes, a vacancy which Hamilton's teammate George Russell has revealed is generating a lot of interest from other drivers, with calls and messages even getting sent his way. Felipe Massa's messy Singapore GP highlighted as legal challenge problem. It is confirmed that Massa has commenced legal proceedings against Formula One, its governing body the FIA and former F1 chief executive Bernie Ecclestone over the outcome of the 2008 championship, which Hamilton snatched from Massa on the final lap of the season in Brazil, home turf for Massa. However, with Massa's legal push coming in response to the Crashgate scandal from that year's Singapore Grand Prix, Former Ferrari team manager Peter Windsor suggests the fact that Massa suffered a botched pit stop is going to complicate proceedings. Eddie Jordan blasts, embarrassing to watch Alpine. Renault were at the center of that Crashgate scandal, 